happy Thursday. So for tonight's class, we had a request for a Balatone and yoga combination. So we're going to start with Balatone. And then once we're nice and warm, we'll move into a little bit of yoga bar and get in a good stretch at the end. Some useful items for tonight include a mat and possibly a yoga block and otherwise just yourself. So I'll press play and we'll get started. Hopefully that's not too loud. All right, we're gonna start with toes facing forward. Let's just rock forward and back for a moment. So I've got a blue sock and a pink sock tonight. We're gonna roll our shoulders back and down and back and down. We're gonna start with the blue arm. Inhale up and exhale down. Pink arm goes up and down. Back to the blue and down. Pink arm up and down. Blue. We're 
four, three, two, and one. Back to that bend. For four, three, two, we're going back to the squat. It's down and up. So make this your own. You can go as far into this as you'd like. Last two, and one, bend for four. We squat. It's down and up. Back to our bend. We squat. Heel, toe, everything together. And just bend. Bending at the knees. For four. The reach. You can keep your arms at your hips or bring them out. We bend and open the first or athletic B. Bend. Open the first. Bend. Open the first. Bend. Open the first. Bend, open to first, bend, open to first, bend, open to first, last time, bend, we hold here, it's bend, or plie, bend, bend, and bend, we have four more here, we're going to move to our rise, last one, Lift those heels. We rise and lower. For four, three, two, and one. Back to that bend. For four. Last one here. We're going back to the rise. Back to our bend. We rise. Two and two. We bend. And bend. Rise. And rise. Bend. And bend. Rise. And rise, bend, and bend, rise, and rise, bend, and bend, rise, and rise. Let's do singles. We bend, and rise, bend, and rise, bend, and rise, bend. And rise. We have four more here. Doing awesome. Three. We'll give our arms a break in a moment. Or take it if you need to. Last one. Step wide. We bend. And bend. So again, our back is sliding down that wall. Let's pulse for three, two, one, and rise. 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 Two more here. Last one. We're gonna go to the blue side. We bend. You can bring out the arms if you'd like. Sort of a jazz arms here. Stretching through the arms if you'd like.
Let's stay to the blue side. Just bend to the blue. Let's bend and tap. Bend and tap. Bend and tap. Bend and tap. For four. Three. Two. And one. Back to that wide bend. You can bring your arms out if you'd like. Shoulder blades. Glide down the back. Let's go to the pink side. Pink, blue, pink, and blue. You can bring those arms out if you'd like. You can stretch and stretch, 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 and stretch. We're gonna stay to the pink side. We bend, 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 and bend. Let's add in that tap. We bend and tap, bend and tap. For four, three, two, and one, we bend, 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 and bend. For four, three, two, we're adding in the arms. So it's goddess and rise, goddess and rise. So you're in control here of how wide or how close to the floor you get right here. We are still warming up. So if your range of motion is here, totally fine. If that's all your knees want to do for the day, also fine. Let's bring our feet forward, hinge and up. Hinge and up. So I'm hinging at the waist here. You can have a slight bend in the knees, kind of like you're doing a deadlift. Or a good morning. Toes are facing forward for this one. Last one, we're putting it together. Here we go. Goddess. Hinge. Goddess. Hinge. Goddess. Hinge. Goddess. And hinge, goddess, and hinge. One more, goddess, and hinge. Bring the feet together. Heels are together. And let's bend. Take a moment to breathe here. If you need to walk around, grab some water, feel free to do that. Remember, our turnout comes from the hips here. So if your hips are talking to you in this turnout, you can always bring your toes a little more towards me. Do what feels best for your body and what's not gonna cause you pain or dysfunction. Four more here. Three. Take breaks when you need them too. We're starting with the blue foot. Point front, point side, front, and side. So notice my pink leg does have a bend when I point to the front. Let's speed it up. Point front and side. For three, two, and one. Bring your heels together. Pink foot, point front, point side. Front and side, front and side, front 
and side. Let's go tempo. It's front and side. Front and side. For three, two, and one. Close heels. We're going tempo to the blue side. Front and side. This is our performance here for three, two, and one. Close heels, pink side. For three, two, and one. Close heels, blue side, point front and side. If your arms get tired here, feel free to bring them to your waist. Last one. Close heels, pink side. For three, two, and one. Close heels, blue side, false side, and tap. False side, and tap. Fall side and tap. Fall side and tap. Tempo. For three, two, and one. Close heels. Dress rehearsal on the pink side and tap. Fall side and tap. Ball side and tap. You can do whatever arms you would like here. Let's go tempo performance. You can be as big or as small here as you'd like. The goal is to have fun. Last one. Close heels back to the blue side. Performance. For three, two, and one. Close heels, pink side, fall side, and tap. For three, two, and one. Back to the blue side. Whew, hopefully you're glistening like me. For three, two, and one. Pink side. Here we go. For three, two, and one. Close heels. All right. We're going to put that together. Feel free to stay here and get some water while I show it. We'll do our dress rehearsal, so that's half tempo. Our balance challenge, if you will. We'll point front and side, fall side, and tap. Point front and side, fall side, and tap. Just like that. Medium plie or bend. Bring the irons with if you'd like. Got plenty of time. We have four more here. Three, two, and one. Here we go, blue foot, point front, and side, fall side, tap side, point front, and side, fall side, and tap, point front, and side, Ball side and tap. Point front and side. Ball side and tap. Point front. Side. Ball side and tap. Let's speed it up. It's front. Side. Fall and tap. Front. Side. Fall and tap. Front. Side. Fall. And tap, we'll close heels. Dress rehearsal on the 
pink side, point front, and side, fall side, and tap, point front, side, fall side, and tap, point front, and side, fall side, and tap, point front, and side, fall side, and tap. Here we go. Point front, side, fall side, and tap. Point front, side, fall side, and tap. Point front, side, fall side, and tap. Close heels, and roll it out. Grab water if you need it. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna grab some water. All right, and we're back. All right, this is one of our classics, one of our favorites here. So a couple options. We're going to point front and find the knee. If that's too much for you, you always can point front and find the ankle or point front and tap in. Whatever feels best for you tonight. All right, heels together. Breathe, blue foot, point front, find the knee. Point front, find the knee. You can always bring your hands to your hips here. Find the knee. If you need a little help balance wise, you can always center yourself, point front and knee. Between your wall, like the corner of your wall here, and then you always have like a sort of makeshift bar. Last one, close heels, dress rehearsal, pink side, point front, find the knee. Point front, find the knee. Point front, find the knee. Point front. Find the knee, here we go. Point front, knee. For three, two, and one. Close heels, blue side, point front, and knee. For three, two, and one. Close heels, pink side, point front, knee. Also, if your turnout is not like mine and you're more here, totally fine. Close heels, blue side, point front, and knee. Remember, our goal is to exercise but have fun. Last one here. Close heels, pink side, point front, and knee. For three, two, and one. We're switching to our curtsy lunge, blue foot curtsy, and knee. Again, you can keep the arms here. If that's not great for you, reverse lunge, and up. Same thing. Whatever feels best for your knees. Here we go. Curtsy, lift. Glute is working. For a three, two, and one. Close heels, pink side, curtsy, and knee. This is our balance challenge. It's a challenge for me too. Woo, especially the side, curtsy. Find the knee, curtsy. Find the knee. Here we go. Curtsy and knee. For three, two, and one. Heels together. Curtsy and knee. This might be a little easier because the momentum will help you. Last one on this side. Close heels, pink side, 
I curtsy. For three, two, and one. Close heels, blue side, curtsy, and knee. For three, two, and one. Pink side, curtsy, and knee. For three, two, and one. Close heels. Take a moment to breathe. Grab water if you need it. We're gonna put our plank front by the knee with our curtsy. We'll just keep it a balanced challenge. Catch your breath. If you're feeling hot, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. We have four more here. Three, two, blue foot is going. Point front, find the knee. Curtsy, find the knee. Woo, balance challenge, point front. Find the knee. Curtsy, find the knee. Point front, find the knee. Curtsy, find the knee. We'll close heels. Take a moment to breathe. Pink side. Here we go. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Close heels. Take a moment to breathe. We're gonna do that on the blue side. Last time, point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Close heels. Take a moment to breathe. Last time, pink side. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Point front. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Last one, best one. Find the knee. Curtsy. Find the knee. Close heels. And breathe. Shake that out, grab water. Whew. Towel off if you need to. Then grab a block if you have one. If you don't, that's totally fine. We're gonna do a few bar moves. So we're gonna place our blue foot on the block. If you'd like to hold onto the wall or a chair, you can. Let me move out of the sun, there we go. I'll be back here so you guys can see me. So we're gonna be a little offset here. Take a moment to find how that feels for you. You'll notice you'll have a little more bend in this blue foot than on this pink side here. We're gonna do a sort of narrow squat series here. Our traditional format for a bar. And it's down and up. But we're kind of in a chair pose if you think about it, kind of like in yoga. Down and up, down and up. Hands up the hips, it's down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. 
for four, three, two, and one down, halfway lift. It's down, halfway lift. So halfway lift means we still have some bend in this pink leg. For four, three, two, and one. Hold down, it's up an inch, down an inch, up, down, up, down, up, and down. For four, three, two, and one. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna lift, lift, and lift, lift, and lift. For four, three, two, and one. Come up. We're gonna find that on the other side here. So pink foot. Find your stance. Here we go. It's down for two and up for two. Down and up. So even though we're on this block, weight is still in the heels and we're still sitting back with those glutes. Tempo, it's down and up. You can always bring your hands here or here. This side might feel hard because we just did the other side. Down halfway lift, it's down halfway lift. Down halfway lift, down halfway lift. Down, halfway lift. For four, three, doing awesome. Two, I know it burns. And one, hold here. It's up an inch, down an inch, up, down. So we're just barely lifting our seat, just a little bit, like an inch. For four, might feel shaking, I'm shaking too. Last two, last one, hold here. All right, we're lifting that pink foot. Here we go. Lift, 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 and lift. For four, three, two, and one. Step off that block, bring your feet wide. Inhale the arms up. Exhale them down to your side. You can hold on to the wall if you need to. If you're feeling dizzy, and we're gonna hinge forward. Chest is going forward, and then down towards the floor. You can always place your hands on your block here. Bend the knees, and roll up. We've got one more bar yoga move here before we get into a good stretch. So if you want, you can use the block. You don't have to. If you have a ball, you could use that or a small pillow. You're going to take the block and place it mid thigh, either long ways or this way, depending on how your thighs and hips are sitting and what feels most comfortable for you. So we're just putting enough pressure on this block to keep it here. So don't feel like you have to squeeze in with all your might. For this one, we're just enough pressure to hold the block here. Take a moment, see how your feet are feeling, how it feels to hold the block here if you're using one. All right, same style. It's down and up, down and up, down and up. Readjust if you need to, down and up. Tempo is down and up. For a four, three, two, and one. Down halfway lift. It's down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift, down, halfway lift. For four, three, two, and hold here. 
up an inch, down an inch, up, down, up, down, up, and down for four, three, two, and one. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna step back, blue and pink, 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 blue and pink. Step forward and rise. This time we're gonna go halfway down and up. 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 One more. Halfway down and up. Release that block. You can keep it off to the side. Grab water. And if you have a mat, feel free to put your mat out. We're gonna do a bit of stretching here. I'm gonna switch playlists for a little bit to something a little more flowy. All right. Put out my mat here. you guys can see me a little better. There we go. So you guys can see me. I'm going to stand at the middle of my mat for now, but if you'd like to come to the front of your mat here or that direction, whichever is front for you, whichever feels like front for you. We're going to start with our feet together. Well, a little bit of a gap here, maybe like hips with distance. Everyone's hips are slightly different, so whatever feels like your feet are in line with your knees, which are in line with your hips. Whatever that feels like for you right now in this moment, find that. Then from there, if you want, you can turn your toes in, sort of big toes to touch, if that feels good for you. If it doesn't, totally fine. Let's take a moment to breathe. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. This time, inhale the arms up. Exhale through cactus. Reach back up towards the sky. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale cactus. Inhale, reach those arms up towards the sky. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale cactus. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more here. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Palms come flat to the sides here. We'll roll our shoulders out. And then come forward. the blue arm up. If you'd like, you can look towards the eye of that elbow or stay here and let that pink arm glide down the side. Pushing up out of the hips so it doesn't feel like your side is crunching in here. 
I know we have skin here, so you might feel that, that's okay. Inhale and exhale to come back to the center and bring that arm down. Other side, inhale that pink arm up. You can look towards the eye of that elbow if you'd like. If it's not comfortable for you, then it's totally fine not to do it. Let that blue arm glide down the side, lifting up out of the hip bones. It's like you're pressing your heels into the ground as you're trying to stretch up towards the sky with your pink arm. And release that. Let's bring our feet wide here. So you might be off your mat here, that's totally okay. We're gonna take a trace the clock like we do in Balatone here. So your knees can have as much bend as your body would like to have right now. Blue arm is gonna come up and over. We're gonna bend. You can come to a flat back or all the way down like you're holding a beach ball here. And then we're going to come up. Pink arm is now the top arm. And all the way up and down. Let's go to the pink side. Inhale that arm up. You can bend the knees here. You can make your beach ball. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale through cactus as they come down. Shoulder blades gliding back or down your back. One more big inhale. And exhale. Turn your toes so that they face towards your wall, or if you're facing me, towards me. We're gonna place the hands at the hips or at the low back here. You're gonna inhale and exhale. Notice how your belly feels when you exhale. It contracts towards your spine here. Keep that in mind as we take a moment to do a forward fold here. So. We're leading with the chest here, so we're not rounding. We're leading with the chest. So from the side, my chest and heart are lifted towards the sky as I hinge here at the waist. And then once you're here, you can release towards the floor. If that's not great for you, another option would be to come to your wall I'll come over here so my seat is not in your face. <laughs> and hinge, walking your hands down the wall here to come to a flat back if that feels best for you. You could also use the top of a chair if your chair is sturdy. You can have as much bend here in your knees as you need today. You can hang here, maybe rock side to side. Maybe you bring your hands through or hold on to your ankles here. Whatever feels best for you. Just make sure to keep your eyes open in this position. Maybe shake your head, yes and no. Maybe move your jaw around a little bit. Maybe engage the knees and then release. Whatever feels best for you. We're gonna bend the knees and either roll up or walk your hands back up your wall. Take a moment here to get your bearing. If you're feeling a little dizzy, Give yourself a hug here and breathe. All right.
right, release that. I'm gonna stay facing this way, but again, you can come to the top of your mat. You can zip everything together or have your feet about hips width distance apart. We inhale those arms up. You can also use your wall here. Exhale, forward fold. We inhale to flat back. And exhale down. Sweep the arms up towards the sky here. You can look up if that feels good for you. And exhale the arms down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to flat back. And exhale down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale them down. Let's do this one more time. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to flat back. And exhale down. Inhale to sweep the arms up. And exhale them down. All right, we're gonna bring our feet wide here. So if you'd like to face me, having your mat long ways, that's fine. Bring the hands to the hips. We're gonna turn our blue foot so that it points towards the wall. Inhale your arms up, and as you exhale, bring a nice bend to that blue foot or knee I should say your gaze can be over that blue hand here or you can face me whichever feels most comfortable and let's straighten and bend straighten and bend Straighten and bend. One more. Straighten and bend. Breathe here. Straighten that leg, bring the hands to the hips. We're going to turn the blue foot forward. And then turn the pink foot to face towards your wall or your window, whatever's in front of you on this side. Inhale the arms up. And as you exhale, bend that pink leg. Again, the gaze can come over that pink arm. And we're gonna straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Take a moment to breathe here. Bring the hands to the hips, straighten that leg, turn the foot back forward, and you can step in. We're going to come to the front of the mat this time. I'll come to the front with you. We're going to inhale the arms up. 
We're gonna exhale, forward fold. We're gonna come down to the floor here. Inhale to flat back. So if that's not great for you, feel free to use a chair. And then bend the knees here so that you bring one knee back and then the other. So we will be in the tabletop here. Wrists are under the elbows, which are under the shoulders here. Knees are in line with the hips. All right, and then we're gonna inhale, belly softens, chest and heart rise towards the sky. And then we're gonna exhale and round. You can tuck the chin here if that feels good for you. Inhale. And exhale. Take a couple more here at your own pace. And when you're ready, find a neutral spine here. So when we're in our neutral spine, our gaze is towards the top of the mat or maybe just a few inches in front of the mat here. Head and neck are in line. So you can keep your knees as they are or bring big toes to touch and bring the knees out wide onto your mat here and come into a child's pose. If you're seated in your chair, you can take a forward fold here in your chair. To get a nice stretch through the shoulders, you can grab your floor or your mat with your fingertips and you should feel a stretch through the shoulders and the upper back here. when you're ready, come through tabletop to take a seat here. If you need to, you can sit on your block. I'm going to scoot against my wall. You have the option to do that as well. I'm just going to scoot back so you can see me. Blue foot is going to bend here. Just bring it into where it's comfortable. And we're just going to sit here, spine nice and tall and we're gonna hold on to this blue foot here. If you're seated in your chair, you can just put the blue foot flat on the floor still with your pink foot extended down towards the ground. You have the option to stay here or you can take the pink arm and take a twist here. I'll move forward a little so you can see. Blue arm can go behind you, and it's just a gentle twist here. Inhale and exhale to come back towards the front. Release that blue leg. We're gonna do the same thing with the pink side. So bring the pink foot flat here on your mat or on the floor. And we're just holding on here with uh, around our shin, sitting up nice and tall. the option of staying here or you can take the pink arm and place it behind you and then bring the blue arm 
around your shin here. in front of you. So you have the option to stay here with your feet out in front of you or just find a comfortable seated position here. Arms can come out to the side. We'll tilt our head towards the blue foot or the blue side I should say. Roll your head down towards your chest and then to the pink side. And then let's roll back. And bring your head back up. Let's take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do two cleansing breaths. So that'll be in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Big inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And gentle exhale through the mouth. And that's all I have for you guys tonight. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget next week is our last class already. We're towards the end of the school year here. So all of the extracurricular um, activities and ESL classes that are put on through Jefferson County Family University are ending next week. So get in your favorite um, poses or moves. If you've got something to request, just either drop it in the class or send me a text or an email or um, however you want to contact me and I will see you guys next week. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.